This is Talk of the Nation. I'm Rebecca Roberts in Washington. If what we see in stores and on the newsstands is any indication, Americans are definitely buying into being green. There are hemp shoes and hybrid cars, and several major magazines have come out with special green issues. Suddenly, it's very chic to be green, and big companies are trying to cash in on the movement. So how green is green? Does all this marketing actually do anything for the environment? Let us know. Are you feeling the push of the new eco-chic and making small changes? And remember, we have that email challenge. What is the one habit or product you refuse to give up? The email address is talk at npr.org. Or give us a call, 800-989-TALK. Send your comments to the blog, npr.org slash blog of the nation. We mentioned it earlier, but if you were expecting to hear our conversation with former Vice President Al Gore in this segment, he canceled earlier this morning. We were told it was a scheduling conflict, and we will try to reconnect with him soon. Let's hear from a caller. This is Ellis in Davis, California. Ellis, welcome to Talk of the Nation. Thank you. You're on the air. What's on your mind? Well, you know, I've actually been researching this issue I've, uh, for the last five years. I'm at uh, UC Davis, and I, I wrote a book and put up a website. And I think that, that the real issue here is an issue of information, that all of this greenwashing that's happening on, on the backs of, uh, of this, these new green products that are coming out are an unexpected response, very much like in, in the political realm, uh, politicians often make promises that they don't carry through with. What's, what we really need as consumers is we need objective sources of information that can evaluate these claims and give us reasonable, uh, honest assessments of whether these products are green or not, because it really is important to people who believe in upholding environmental values that they are able to t- channel their consumer dollars in a way that helps the environment, because without these green options, what we end up doing is channeling our consumer dollars into all of these ways that hurt the environment, and that's also not on the label. So you would like some kind of good housekeeping seal of approval for an eco-friendly product? I think ultimately what we need is like nutritional labels, just like when you turn over a cereal box, you see the nutritional label on the side, it tells you the lowdown on all of the nutritional aspects of, of the product, and, and ultimately that's what, what we need. But in the meantime, all we have are, you know, uh, um, research and nonprofits and so forth, and that, and, and I put up a website, betterworldshopper.org, and a a book, and and trying to get all of this information in a way that consumers can use it right now and get an unbiased assessment of what's out there. Ellis, thanks for your call. Let's turn this idea over to Josh Dorfman. He's someone who pays close attention to so-called green eco-friendly products. He calls himself the lazy environmentalist. He has a book and a radio show on Sirius Satellite Radio by the same name. He's also the founder of Vivavi Contemporary Sustainable Furniture and Design. Josh Dorfman joins us from our New York bureau. Welcome to Talk the Nation. Thank you, Rebecca. Great to be here. So how do you decide what's an eco-friendly product? Well, I think actually I've met Ellis, and I think he raises a lot of good points. Right now in 2007, it's a very interesting time because more and more people do want to shop for green products. So that does raise the question, well, if, we, if we're going to do it, how do we really know? 